Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living Weekly Live broadcast. Today is Sunday, December 10th of 2023. The Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives that create a sustainable environment in a peaceful world. Today's topic you have that little voice that says you can't where does that come from today we're going to look at what's holding you back from reaching your dreams I think we've all had times in our lives where somebody has come along and told us you can't that you can't because your gender because of your age because of your experience because of your social class because of your education level because 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 and they were posing limits on you based on what they experienced or what they believed to be true for themselves or for the world. That doesn't make it true for you. And yet, what do we do with that? Especially when we're children or we're impressionable or there is some authority figure or someone that we respect or don't, <laughs> as the case may be, that is telling us these things especially over time it's like they get imprinted into the psyche and we put up this invisible wall that's got this big you can't cross this boundary written across it in energetic ink and we hold that there sometimes we don't even recognize what it is that's holding that wall up for us but anytime we try to reach across it it's like we've got to fight so hard and it really kind of ruins our energy, our well-meaning, vibrant, healthy energy that wants to show up and really be beautiful and shine and give, they can express the gifts that we're here to give. But we have to punch through that wall so hard because it's so thick and strong that what ends up coming out is not really what we want to be, not really who we are. So today, in today's meditation and healing circle we are going to we're going to address this wall and we're going to recognize god willing that you know what let me tell you a story real quick when i first graduated from college i mean i had come from this small town that i'm back in today that somebody some of you had heard me talk about i never thought i'd return here but i had come from this small town this small refinery town on the texas gulf coast and I really, I didn't have uh, a lot of role models or anything in the form of mentorship to tell me about the world and what I needed to uh, to do or be or how to be when I got out there to, to be successful. And I didn't know, I really just didn't know what I was going to come up against. So when I graduated from college, I went to work for a high-tech computer company and my second line boss was the biggest jerk on the entire planet he would regularly call me into his office and just have me sit there so that he could tell me that women don't make it here women can't be successful in this job i had a woman work for me once and broke a nail and ended up having to go work somewhere else and and this you know just on and on and on wasting my time and just like for what he held me back in every way that he could and yet other managers, I mean, I, I worked really hard to prove myself. I took extra assignments. I took on uh, overtime jobs, whatever I could do. And I worked so hard trying to prove myself for years, for years and years and years. Other managers recognized me. They gave me uh, awards and recognition because they knew what was happening. And they also knew there was nothing they could do about it. Um, and I was just not... I think I was too naive. I didn't know what to do. And um, so I put up with it until I finally recognized and found a pathway out. And then once I got on the other side of it, that's when I realized how bad it really was. But anyway, the, the whole thing is years later, I recognized that this voice of you can't was still like there in my way in my path and this invisible wall was there and i recognized at that point because he was long gone there was no one holding that wall there but me 
There was no one allowing it to be there but me. And I didn't have to. I didn't have to. I just wasn't aware. So once I became aware, I could let that wall go. I could, you know, just be and show up and do and give in the way that my heart truly desires. So that's what I want to help you with today. I hope that story was helpful for you to know when those people are long gone, we are the only ones still holding that wall. And we have the, just as we can hold it, we can also move it out of the way and let it go, let it go completely. All right, so let's go ahead and come into our meditation and healing circle. Let's come into our circle, sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, coming together as one. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate, we call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your pure divine light. And just imagine this pure divine light streaming into the center of our circle, coming in and filling this space, cleansing and purifying this space and everything around us. And bring everything, bring all of your attention, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your heart, your belly, everything to face into this light. Bring everything to face forward, facing into this light. And just let this light, this pure divine light, let it fall upon your skin. And let it penetrate through your pores. Let it penetrate through your pores. Absorb it in through your skin, into your body, and let it travel along your pathways, cleansing and purifying all of those little bits along your nervous system that kind of hold you in those defensive patternings, hold you in that alert system, hold you in those patterns of hesitation. Just let those be cleansed and purified as this light travels through your body and infuses, penetrates your skin and infuses into all of your tissues. And take a full inhale. And as you do, draw all of your energy into the core of your body and draw that light into the core of your body, into that central vertical core. And you can feel this light coming through the top of your head and traveling through the top of your head all the way along the center channel of your body, halfway front to front, I'm sorry, halfway front to back, halfway side to side, traveling through your body. And as you inhale, draw all of your energy and all this light in from the outer to meet the light on the inner. Draw it in. And as you exhale, just let yourself drop down and land into your pelvic bowl, sit into your hips, and land. And breathe, inhale, draw all of your energy in and all of this light in through your pores, through your tissues, through your skin, to your vertical core. And as you exhale, drop down and land into your pelvic bowl. And let yourself really sink into your body. Land into your hips and let this light really fill the whole core of your body. And you can upright your spine and elongate your spine and really let that central channel be a straight vertical line, like line up your physical body so that channel is a straight vertical line moving through your body that lines up 
your head center, over your heart center, over your sacral center. And let that alignment, just feel that alignment and let your head be looking straight ahead, slight downward tilt so that the crown, the top of your head is, is pointing straight up. And let that light come through the top of your head all the way along your central channel. And one more time, inhale and draw that light in through your pores, through your tissues, all the way into that central channel. And as you exhale, drop down, land into your pelvic bowl, anchor into your hips, and lean into that vertical light. And as you breathe, just imagine that light flowing through your body, like inhaling it in from the outside to meet the inside and letting it rest in your body until there is really, there is no outer, there is no inner, there is just one vibration of light that is moving through your body and pulsating with your breath. And let your like your conscious body really center in along your vertical core and receive, receive this pure divine light. And again, let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your unconditional love and just Feel this unconditional love. Imagine if you can't feel it, this unconditional love streaming into the center of our circle. And turn your heart center to face toward the center of the circle. There's a funnel of energy that extends from the front of your chest. Turn it to face toward the center of our circle and let it just tip up slightly and receive like a gentle waterfall this unconditional love flowing into your heart. And you can breathe it in through your heart center. Let it fill your heart. And as you exhale, just release the clutter, release the tension from your heart space. And with your inhale, just breathe that unconditional love. Let it pour in through your heart center. And as you exhale, just blow out any of the blocks and barriers. As the poet Rumi says, your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. So let those barriers within yourself, any of those that you don't, need that you're not dependent on relying on right now they're just hanging out there in the balance because they've been there just let them be blown out release let them go just release them into the cosmic soup and let them be carried away by the angels the healers the helpers the guides all who are here to support you on your journey of healing and wholeness And breathe in that unconditional love until it's pouring all the way through your heart center, all the way in to this vertical core of light at your center. So again, just check that position, elongate your spine, and really set that vertical position at your center, and let your heart that funnel from the front of your heart space. Let's let it pour into that vertical core, breathing in that unconditional love to cleanse and purify your heart. And pour that love all the way into your core. And bring your, your conscious body into that core, like you're standing under a gentle waterfall. And let yourself receive. Receive, let your body be like a sponge. Let your conscious body be like a sponge right there at that center. 
and absorb that water of unconditional love and feel that vibration of that pure divine light and receive, receive, receive. Again, drop down and land into your pelvic bowl, anchor into your hips and receive. And again, let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence, your eternal compassion. And this eternal compassion is the vibration of the cosmic soup. There is a carrier wave, right? In the, in the land of radio waves, there is a carrier wave that exists that all of the other frequencies of all the other channels travel along. And in our cosmic soup, there's lots of energies that travel along the, the cosmic soup. And in that carrier wave of our cosmic soup is this eternal compassion. And there is nothing that can travel in this cosmic soup without this eternal compassion. This is the compassion. Eternal means beyond the time and space realm, outside of time and space. And so this is a cosmic vibration of compassion and existential compassion. that flows through the cosmic soup. And that is the container of our cosmic existence and our material existence holds everything in this ocean of living consciousness, which is pure divine compassion. So let your body, as you inhale this pure divine light, unconditional love, inhale, draw in this eternal compassion. And as you exhale, drop down, land into your pelvic bowl and let your whole body, your whole being rest into this container of compassion. And allow yourself to be held in this compassion, to be loved, to be held in this mercy, in this pure acceptance, in this unconditional love, as you are, nothing needs to change before you can receive this and be held in it. You're already there, no matter what, you're already there. Let's let yourself rest into this ocean and absorb, absorb the water into your body. Let your sponge, <laughs> your thirsty, dry sponge be fully hydrated and saturated and satiated and rest into this ocean. Let it carry you. Let it carry you. And from this place, as you anchor into your pelvic bowl, and upright and lean into this vertical core. You can put a hand, you can put a hand over your belly to anchor you into your pelvic bowl and a hand over your heart center. Your heart that is like an eye. Your heart center has like an eye that enables you to see these invisible walls, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll see them as you see pictures hanging on the wall in your house or the flowers in the field, but you can see them with your mind's eye or have an image of them, maybe in your imagination, in your memories. You can hand, hold a hand over your heart if it helps you and just kind of tune in. What is on that barrier, that wall, that holds you back from realizing your dreams, really going for it, or more than going for it, but being it? 
Is there a voice that has told you you can't? Is there someone who's made a really good case as to why you're not able, why you're not capable, why society won't allow you? Whatever that may be, just notice again, stay anchored into your body, centered in your heart, and just notice And let yourself just from a, a witness perspective, right? Observation, inquiry. What is this voice? Where does this voice come from? Who did it come from? And there may not be one person, maybe a conglomeration, it may be a cultural message. So whatever that is or wherever it came from, just notice what's there, inquire, and again, feel into your heart. How does your heart feel about this wall that it's witnessing? And I ask you, is this the truth of your heart? Is this the truth of your heart? And I can guarantee if you're feeling pain, sadness, grief, any of that in your heart, that's telling you that this wall and the message that's written on it is not holding your truth. There's a truth inside of you that is very sad because it hasn't been able to get out. Because it has been held back. So let yourself lean into your heart. Lean back into this place in your own heart. As you witness this wall and feel, right? What is it? We can go through the, the layers. As your heart feels like, no, that is not my truth. What is it that your heart needs? Right? Your heart needs to recognize your own truth and for that inner truth to be acknowledged. So whatever that is, let yourself just lean in, continue to lean back and lean back into your heart. What is the truth in your own heart? And let that speak to you. Let that speak to you. What is the truth in your own heart? Underneath the sadness, underneath the grief, what does your heart know? What has your heart been called to that elicited that no? Because this is what's true for you. That no was true for somebody else that was standing in front of you. But it's not true for you to so let yourself feel and lean into that place in your heart that holds what's true for you. And let yourself just stand in that, right? As you're anchored in this vertical core of your body, let that truth from the center of your heart really to say yes to it and let it take up this space in your vertical core. Let it take up the space in your core. To 
say yes. This is a knowing that was put into you for you to discover and uncover and recognize, realize, step into, own up to through your earth journey. This is a truth that's been put into you, a gift that's been given to you. Regardless of what this world says, this is yours. Stand in it. Let it really take up space along your vertical core. Own it. Own it. And let it anchor all the way into your hips, right? Taking up the full space of your entire vertical core. Right? Let the electricity of the yes and the strength of this knowing that you have inside of you, let it really anchor along your vertical core. Let it anchor along your vertical core. Let it vibrate and resonate strongly along that vertical core. And think of yourself like a light bulb, right? A light bulb has a filament that runs along the center. It carries the electricity, and that is what lights up the entire bulb, right? When the electricity is strong, along that solid filament in the center. That is what generates the light in the center of that bulb. Let your vertical core be like that filament and let that electricity, that strength, and the knowing of who you are and what you are created to be, let that run along the filament of your vertical core. Let it get strong and vibrant to light up your entire being your entire being. Kun faya kun, be and it is. Be and it is. Breathe it. Let it really just solidify and anchor along your center. Own it. Own it. Let it be you and you be it. B, really merge with it. Let it fill your whole vertical core. Kun faya kun. B. And there is a divine name. It's called Ya Fata. And it means the opener and success. And turning to it in Dalziya's book, Divine Names, 99 Healing Names of the One Love. Yafata means the opener, the one who reveals, the one who separates. God offers us human beings liberation through the path of peace. This divine attribute has three meanings, opening, beginning, and success. Truth opens at the moment of death. God opens the doors to success so that we may open all problems and obstacles. He is the one who opens the hearts to the truth and the one who lets knowledge and sincerity flow over our tongue. He is the one who lifts the veils and enables us to see what is essential in all things, who gives us the strength to be truthful. Now, let that part of you, where it says <laughs> that this opens in death, let that part of you that has believed in the message on this wall, let that part of you die to the inner being of truth. Let that part of you, just like cells in your body, are constantly dying off and new ones regenerating. Let that part of you 
that once believed and held on to the message in this wall, let that die away right along with the wall itself. Let it be separated, let it be open, let it die away. And stand in that truth, the truth that is being reborn from within you. That truth is what opens and gives you a new beginning and success. The three meanings, opening, beginning, success. We call on the divine attribute of Fatah, and that's spelled with an F as in Frank, A, T as in Tom, T as in Tom, A, H, Fatah, Fatah. So we call on that divine attribute, that divine name, that divine power. We call on that divine power and just let that come in. Let it bring its healing energies. Let it bring its powers of opening, beginning, and success. Let it wash over you. Let it wash through your field. Let it wash through you and let it do its magic, if you will. Exert its power to strengthen the inner core of you that is owning and standing in and aligning your truth, the truth that you have been given, that you have been brought here to discover and to embody and let it anchor that in you as all of the rest of this dies away, as it is separated, as it is opening, and you are being and come into success. Ya Fata. Ya Fata. Just call that when you speak, this, this Fata is in a sacred language. And when you speak the words in the sacred language, then it's really, it's emanating that vibration of the meaning, of the meaning that it carries. So everything is energy. Energy has vibration, has waves, has frequency. And when you speak, you are generating sound waves. And the sound waves that you're generating are matching the frequency of the thing that you're calling in. You're calling directly to your source and you're asking for this power, the divine power of Al-Fatah. Fatah, the opener, beginning and success. Again, let that wash through you. Let it cleanse in its wisdom. Let it clean up what it knows needs to be cleaned up. And let those things from your ego self die away and be carried away with the waves of the cosmic ocean. That we cleansed, purified, taken to wherever they need to go. And allow them to release from you and that wall that's in front of you. In one sense, this wall has been here so that you could find and own this place of strength within yourself. So thank it for having done its job and release it. Let it go. Thank you. I don't need you anymore. You are free to go. You've done your job. In gratitude, I, I release you and let you go. Kun fayakun be and it is. Ya fata, ya fata, ya fata, ya fata, ya fata. Let that vibration wash over you, wash through you, creating the inner strength and connection with your own inner knowing. Strengthen you, solidify you, 
anchor you with certainty, with confidence in who you are and what you're here to, to be, to do, to have, to create, to express, whatever that is for you, with no walls in front of you. Let it go completely. Any places where you've been holding on to that for any reason, just let those cords release, let those hooks unhook, let them go. If your body wants to move, let your body move to help you release. If your breath, you can use your breath to release. Just continue to let that go and really settle into your physical space. Settle into your physical space, owning that inner core strength. Your Aziz, the inner core strength. And Ya Fatah, just let everything be opened. Everything be open. No more wall, just you. And just feel into your heart. What is that opportunity that you've been seeking? What is it that's there, right there, and been there all this time? It's waiting for you. What is that? See that right in front of you now. See that right in front of you now. There's nothing between you and that. So allow yourself. Allow yourself to reach that and really bring it in. Give that to yourself. Give that to yourself. It's there. It's waiting for you. You've got it now. It's in your reach and there's nothing between you and it. So bring it in, give it to yourself. And receive, receive, breathe it in and receive. Let it come into your body. Things start energetically before they materialize. So let that energy come in, receive it into your heart and say yes. Receive it into your field, into your body, and say yes. And now step your feet firmly on the path to walk toward it. And if you want, you can stand up and physically feel yourself walking toward it. So there is no distance between you and it. It is completely open. Right? This is creating a new beginning for you, for your success. So really, that your whole embodied knowing, say yes and move toward, move toward. Really let it come into your body. You be it, it be you and say yes. Kun Fayakun, be and it is, be and it is. And just take a minute and breathe and allow yourself as you breathe to ah, really let it settle into your body. And feel your, like your state, your nervous system. Just invite your nervous system to settle in with this vibration. Settle and rest into this vibration. Be and it is. Be and it is. Ya fata. Ya fata. Be and it is. Kun via kun. And now if there's any prayer or intention that you want to make, just let your heart and all of you face directly to your source. Just imagine your source right in front of you. Whatever prayer you want to make from this place or intention you want to set, 
Let yourself make that prayer, set that intention right here and right now. This is about what God creates for you and puts in you for you to recognize, to realize, and to know, and to be. Just let yourself say yes. Kun faya kun be, and it is. Really let it come in deeper. Be, and it is. Say yes. Yes, yes, let it meet your core, let it strengthen your core, let it elevate your core in your whole being to where it wants to bring you. Say yes. Ask for the help and support you need. Ask for the trust. Whatever it is that you need. And keep saying yes, keep saying yes, keep saying yes. When you meet resistance along the way, those little fears that come up, they consider that a positive sign because that means that you are being moved. You're being moved out of your comfort zone, which in the long run is what we really want. We want to be out of the comfort zone because that's how we grow. When we're just resting in that comfort zone, we, we get stagnant. And we start to putrefy and life becomes very unpleasant. So when we move out of that comfort zone, it, it draws us into that new beginning, that new potential, that opening, that success, that deep inside of ourselves, we really want because that's what's been put in us to want. It's We're hardwired for that. So let yourself say yes, yes, yes. And finally, let's end with gratitude. With a moment of gratitude, just giving thanks to your source for what you've been given, for the healing you've received, for the knowing that has come in, for who you know yourself to be, and for the opportunity to be. In gratitude and in awe, we give thanks. All right, now with that, I'm going to open for our Q&A. And I'll be shutting off the recording. If you're on Facebook, there's a link there you can click on to join us by phone or by computer. If you want to participate in Q&A, sharing anything of that nature. If you are listening to the recording, you're invited to join us live on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. You can find information for joining us live at communityforconsciousliving.com, communityforconsciousliving.com. While you're there, pick up your copy of 10 Spiritual Principles of Our Human Existence. Right? When you sign up for reminders and replays, you will receive that. So sign up for those reminders and replays, receive that copy. It's a one sheet, just a reminder of who and what we are and what this world is about, what this life is about, just what opportunities we have when we recognize the truth. It also comes with a 15 minute downloadable guided meditation to help you to connect with that pure divine light, unconditional love and eternal compassion that is the truth of the core of your being. All right, and with that, I thank you very much for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you on the Q&A, if you're, if you're going to be joining us for that, and if not, next week. Thank you so much.